Hey you guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. I've been wanting to do an empty house tour for a couple days now, but it's been super rainy and it's like the weather's not looking like it's gonna clear up. So I figured there's no point in keeping putting it off when the weather's not gonna change. So we are currently stationed at Fort Hood. My wife is stationed here. So we chose to be in on off post housing, meaning that we are off post, but the military does own this community. Um, we are in Liberty Village on off post housing and whenever we went to go move here there was not a lot of um, on off post housing videos so i figured i would show you guys ours you have to take into consideration that every liberty village house has its own layout there's th this one right here and the one beside us our neighbors we go over there all the time their house is a completely different layout than ours so i figured that might help you guys a little bit when looking for a house if you have to come to fort hood so I'm gonna give you a little bit of a house tour and a yard tour. Maybe that might help you guys out in a way that it didn't get to help me out. Um, and then if you guys have any questions at the end of the video or anything, you are more than welcome to comment it down below and I will try to make a video on that. If you have any questions about the housing or anything like that, there are some questions that I may be able to answer. I was hoping that this might help somebody out because I really needed that help when I was fixing to move here with my wife and we didn't really have that. So I hope this helps you out. <laughs> so let's get started. This is our house. We're gonna go over here to the carport area and show you that real quick. When you get to the carport, there is a little door right here and that is a storage room. Basically just an outside storage if you wanna hold rakes or any outdoor stuff. This is our recycling bin and our trash bin. The trash comes every Monday. So we just put those out by the road does have a pretty good light in here in case you have to come out outside during the nighttime. This right here is just a door that goes inside. It's our side door. But we're gonna go in the front. Okay. Once you walk in the front door, <laughs> excuse my puppies. You look to the left and there's automatically a little coat closet, not too big, but pretty good size. We just have a lot of junk in there right now. And some shoes, basically. And you look this way, it's very open concept. We put this little guy up right here so we can hold our keys and stuff in it. There is this little half wall. It just points over into the dining room. Here is the living room and facing the backyard. Here's our Wi-Fi, that's kind of in the way. <laughs> but this is the side door I was telling you guys about. And it comes into our kitchen. Oh, it's not focusing. There we go. Comes into our kitchen. Here's a little baby pantry. It is a pretty small pantry, but it is really deep. So it does help the fact that it is pretty small because it does run back pretty far. Your house comes with a refrigerator, obviously a stove, and then a dishwasher but it does not come with a microwave so you have to buy your own this looks out into the backyard has a lot of cabinet space surprisingly <laughs> um and then you look this way it's just a whole open concept we do have a little bar area we're probably going to put some bar stools right here this goes into the backyard this um Sliding glass door. We'll go ahead and go out here real quick. Stay in puppies. It's really gross outside, so. It is completely fenced in. And we do have a privacy fence right there. There is a big basketball court right over there and a big track right over there. So people are always back there. Um, so thankfully we have that privacy fence. At the other house, they did not have that and it was right next to the interstate but they did not have that big privacy fence. So that's another reason we like this house. It doesn't have grass right here, so it gets really gross when it rains, but for the most part, we have grass, a whole lot of dog toys in our yard, but um, it's pretty cute. It has a little gate over there, so we can get out in, in pretty easy. We got a covered porch, so that is really nice. Other than the fact that sometimes there's baby geckos out here and I actually don't like that. <laughs> but let's go back inside. Okay. 
This does have this little pull down bar that locks in your house. We're gonna go down the hallway now. But when you go down the hallway, the first thing you get to is the doors on the right, and that is for your laundry room. We have a bunch of random stuff in here. We do not have our washer and dryer <laughs> or any of our stuff yet because that does not come in until the 23rd of December when the movers bring it. When you get to the end of the hallway, three doors. The right door goes into what will be my office, but right now it is just a dog room for my puppies. This opens up to the backyard, this big window. You can see out the back. Here's a very big closet. Um, has a good light in it. This will just be my wife's closet for all her military gear and for some extra blankets. And then, close this up. <laughs> he follows me everywhere. Anyways, when you walk in here to the um, door at the end of the hallway, this is a pretty decent sized bathroom. We were actually very excited to see how big this bathroom was. So it is pretty big actually. We do have a medicine cabinet and the shower. Um, the shower head that was in here, we did buy our own and replace it because it had barely any pressure and it was very, um, you know, the streams that like just spray out wherever it was like that. <laughs> but then if you close this door, there is a little like linen type of closet. Ours is kind of crazy at the moment, but it's pretty big and deep. It's about the size of the pantry. Let's close this door. And then the door on the left is actually our bedroom. It's pretty messy in here, but just ignore that. This is a queen size air mattress. Obviously we haven't gotten our stuff in. So this is a queen size though, just to tell you the size. Um, and we still have a lot of room in here. Uh, obviously as you can see, um, I'll go over here in this corner so y'all can see. But it's actually a pretty decent sized room. The other room is a lot smaller. Then we have our closet, ignore this. We have nowhere to put anything and it's very frustrating right now because we don't have any of our stuff. But. It's a pretty decent sized closet. Um, it would be really big if this part right, right here wasn't here. That's only because um, when you walk in our front door, that closet to the left, it kind of takes up a lot of our closet. But it's still a decent size for the situation. Um, that window looks out towards the front yard. But that is really about it. You are pretty close to your neighbors. That is one thing that my wife did not like. Dallas was pretty bummed about that, but it is what it is when you have military housing. So it's not too close to them, but it's pretty close. Um, they have a tree, but they don't have much grass. They have a tree, but no grass down there. And then our yard is the only one that has a tree that has a lot of grass in it. But still, again, not much because all this right here is kind of muddy whenever it rains, which sucks. But a really big carport. This carport is really big. <laughs> but Whenever I post this video, if you guys have any questions that you may have that me or my wife can answer, please feel free to comment down below. Uh, like I said, none of our stuff is in. It won't be here until the day before Christmas Eve. So whenever that comes in and we get the house all furnished and um, decorated, I'll probably do a furnished house tour if you guys are interested in that. Me and Dallas will probably both be in that one. Dallas is out running errands right now. That's the only reason she isn't in this one. Um, that is all I have for you guys today. I hope that you liked it. If you have any other questions, let me know. And thank you guys for watching. Y'all have a good one.